What if I told you that an asteroid just flew closer to Earth than the space station, and we didn't even see it coming? That NASA might have just found the first galaxy ever created, and that SpaceX is about to lose their moon landing contract? This month in space was absolutely insane. Let's dive in. On October 1st, asteroid 2025-TF flew just 266 miles over Antarctica. That's the same altitude where astronauts are right now on the International Space Station. To put that in perspective, that's closer than New York to Washington, D.C. This makes it the second closest asteroid approach without impact ever observed. The craziest part? We didn't spot it until hours after it had already passed us. The Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona only detected it when it was already speeding away. Now, before you panic, this space rock was only about the size of a car. If it had hit Earth, it would have just created a spectacular fireball in the sky, like a massive shooting star. But here's what keeps me up at night. If we can't detect a car-sized asteroid until after it passes us, what else is out there that we're missing? Speaking of missing things, wait until you hear what SpaceX just missed. SpaceX just pulled off something incredible, but NASA says it might not be enough. On October 13th, SpaceX launched Starship Flight 11 from Texas, and it was the last flight of their troubled version 2 prototype. This beast of a rocket stands at 400 feet tall. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. The booster made a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico after testing a new landing configuration with 13 engines, then switching to just five, something they've never tried before. But here's where it gets spicy. NASA just reopened the competition for the Artemis 3 lunar lander on October 21st, inviting other companies to come compete against SpaceX Starship translation. NASA might be getting nervous about whether Starship will be ready in time to beat China back to the moon. NASA's acting administrator even warned that the problem is they're behind on getting Starship ready for the moon mission planned for 2027. The pressure is on, and SpaceX is already building their next generation version 3 starships. Will they make it in time, or will another company swoop in and steal the moon landing contract? But while SpaceX races against time, the James Webb telescope just found something that shouldn't exist. The telescope might have just spotted a galaxy called Capotauro that formed just 90 million years after the Big Bang. Let me put that into perspective using the cosmic calendar. If the universe's entire 13.8 billion year history was compressed into one year, this galaxy would have formed on January 3rd. Our Milky Way? That didn't show up until March 1st. And humans? We appeared at 11.52 p.m. on December 31st. Here's why scientists are freaking out. For this galaxy to shine as brightly as it does from that early in the universe, it would need to convert gas into stars at a rate that's surprisingly efficient according to our current understanding of physics. The previous record holder, Galaxy MOM-Z14, formed 280 million years after the Big Bang. But Capotuado? If confirmed, it beats that by almost 200 million years. Now let's talk about things heading our way from deep space. Earlier this month, something from outside our solar system flew past Mars. Interstellar Comet 31 Atlas swept by on October 3rd, and Europe's ExoMars TGO even captured images as it raced past. Now that it has just passed its closest approach to the sun, the comet is erupting with powerful jets as it heats up, shredding huge amounts of material into space. TGO saw it as a fuzzy moving dot between October 1st and 7th. Mars Express tried to image and take spectra, but the comet was too faint for clear detection. What makes this special is we've only discovered three interstellar objects ever, and this is our chance to study material from a completely different solar system. Now, let's talk about China for a bit. While everyone was watching SpaceX, China quietly achieved something historic. China just hit its 600th Long March mission when a Long March 88 lifted off on October 15th, deploying a batch of Guowang broadband satellites that build out China's answer to Starlink. And get this, Europe's space agency ESA just opened a permanent office in Tokyo on October 28th to deepen cooperation with Asian space programs. The space race isn't just between the US and China anymore. It's becoming a complex web of international 
international partnerships. The question is, will the West lead in space technology hold? Or is China about to surprise everyone? But the biggest surprise in the space race might be coming from a company almost no one expected. While the world is busy watching SpaceX, Blue Origin has been quietly making serious moves behind the scenes. In early October, Blue Origin rolled out their massive New Glenn rocket to launch Complex 36 in Florida for testing. This is the rocket that will launch NASA's Escapade mission to Mars, currently targeting its first launch window in early to mid-November. New Glenn is not just another rocket. At 320 feet tall, it is in the same heavyweight class as Falcon Heavy, built to haul large payloads to orbit and support future missions to the moon. And here is where things get really interesting. NASA recently awarded Blue Origin a mission to deliver the Viper rover to the moon's south pole in 2027 as part of the Artemis program. This comes on top of NASA already selecting Blue Origin's Blue Moon lander for a future crewed Artemis mission. So while everyone online keeps on talking about Starship delays, Blue Origin has been quietly stacking government contracts and expanding operations at Cape Canaveral. They now have a working launch site in Texas, their orbital pad in Florida, and a growing role in NASA's return to the moon. Blue Origin might just be the dark horse that nobody saw coming in the new space race. So there you have it. Now before we end this video, I have a question for you. Should we be spending more on planetary defense to catch these sneaky asteroids? Or should that money go toward getting us to Mars faster? Get in the comments below and let us know. So like always, make sure you've subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss next month's update. This has been Carlos Gonzalez for Cosmo Knowledge. See you soon.